All right, guys, so I got a Troy built here. This is a TB110. It's a push mower, non-drive, uh, just a regular push. The complaint here is that it's hard to start. So we're going to be knocking out a valve adjustment. It's a Troy built TB110 Briggs & Stratton 550EX140cc engine. This is on a regular push mower. I've already taken off the three bolts that hold that top cover on I just showed you. There's just three of them right around here. It's pretty simple. Pull it off. Get it out of the way. I got it set up like this here. I got the uh, handle right here on the door so that the um, lock isn't on the flywheel. The brake isn't on the flywheel so that I can rotate this and show you how to get it to the top dead center. I got it jacked up here. I'm going to set you guys up on the stand so you can see what's going on. Now this one right here is getting hard to start. Sometimes these valves are loose. You just got to give them the spec. So let me show you. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is get the plug out. So we can rotate it and not have to worry about compression. We'll take the valve cover off here. These are 5 16 Got to get one of those power tools, guys. Makes the world easier. All right, and this is what we're looking at. We have our uh, exhaust valve here and an intake valve here. Now, to find out how it is, how to get top dead center, you just want to go ahead and stick something into the um, spark plug hole right here, and you can see how the screwdriver moves up and down. I'm going to get it right up to top dead center where it's right at the top right there. And you'll know that you're at top dead center of the compression stroke because you'll have play in your valves. So if I was right here, this is crossover right here, and you can move it just a little bit. And you see going from the intake to the exhaust are moving. See that? We don't want to be there. We want to be in the compression. So spin it back, bring it back up, and here we are. All right, so we're here, and I can already see these things are way loose. So looking at our specs right here, we have a 0.004 to 0.006 on our intake and our 0.006 to 0.008 on our exhaust. So what you want to do is just go ahead and grab your the biggest one for each, so a 008 for our exhaust, and we're way loose, and a 006 for our intake, yeah, we're way loose there too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. The quick and easy way to do this is, first off, you're going to need a Torx. Uh, this is a T10 for the lock nut that's in the center, and then you're going to need an 8 millimeter for the adjuster. So go ahead and take your adjuster here. And you're just going to loosen the adjuster, and it's going to help release the tension on the... Um, all right, so let me show what I'm doing here. I'm just going to loosen it right there, and now my lock nut is free, okay? So with the lock nut free in the center, for the exhaust, I'm taking my 008, and that's uh, thousandths of an inch. I'm going to put that right in there. We're going to tighten the nut on the outside, all right, until I'm holding that, just tensioning it right there, okay? I can still grab and move this if I want to. So I'm just going to turn that with my finger right there. So that's finger tight onto that. Then I'm going to hold 8 millimeter here. And then I'm going to tighten the lock nut. If our 006 is going out of here, all right, that's where we should be right there. There's our 006. You can see I'm moving it, moving nice. And then we can still get our 008. So we're probably about a 007, so we're good to go right there. Let's do the same thing for the intake side. Intake side, we're going to go ahead and loosen it. All right, just cracked it just a tiny bit, got it loose. I'm going to do the same thing here. Take my 006 thousandths. All right, just get it to the holes. Lock nuts the center one, okay? Lock nuts the center. So I'm going to go ahead and turn. I'm trying to get you guys at a view so you can see. All right, so now that I was holding the adjuster on the outside, tightening that one, there's our six. Grab our 004 thousandths right here. Put our four thousandths in there. And we're looking good. If we try to show you, we should be out of 005 right here because we're point zero zero four to 006, and there's our 005. So these valves are good to go right now. Those are adjusted. Put our cat back on. Literally, guys, this is a few-minute job. 
it's maintenance you got to do it you want them to be right in that middle of the range for uh, for good starting and stuff this is easy this is soft metal so don't drive these things in it's got a rubber gasket I don't know what the torque value is on these but it's very light Spark plug back in. As soon as you start having problems starting, this is probably what you should check on these overhead valves. Plug wire back on. And then we're going to pull it outside here and give you guys a startup. Put some fresh gas in it. All right, let me move it outside. Alright guys, we're good to go. That's all there is to it. Our valve adjustment on these things is super easy. You gotta knock them out every once in a while. These engines made it easy. You don't have to change the gasket. It's a rubber gasket. It'll be fine throwing it on there. Make sure you always got fresh gas in there. Get your valves adjusted. Get them into spec and you're good to go guys. Hopefully this helps you out. Get these valves adjusted. It's a regular maintenance item. You gotta do it every once in a while. So as soon as it starts to get hard to start, check those valves. Alright? Guys, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, this is Tefco Sack Repair. I got another one out there. Can you see it in the distance? Next one in.